Hey, what's up? Welcome to today's live. Um, <laughs> hold on one second. I want to share this to my, hold on one second. I want to share to my um, personal page. So I'm on my desktop. Anyways, as you guys are tuning in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Say hello. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing my live on my personal page. So. Okay. So say hello as you guys are tuning in. I'll be right back. I don't even know if this is working. If you guys are with me, uh, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'm just sharing from another window. It's my personal page, and then we'll just get right into it. Typically don't go live on Saturdays, but I went live last Saturday. It was pretty cool. I liked it. I don't have the kids home right now. So woohoo to that. <laughs> um, I'm talking about what? Detoxing your life to gain clarity. All right. Um, let's see. Hopefully that went to my personal page. You guys, technology, is it not crazy? It's just so crazy. Let me just go over to my personal page and see if I'm, okay, I'm live. Cool. Well, there you have it. Typically, I did, always did that from my phone. And I have a second monitor, you guys, on my um, desk. <laughs> I never use it. This is what I'm talking about, like detoxifying your life to bring in more creativity and clarity. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today. Let me get out of my other window. So. Who do I have with me? Um, ba, 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 ba. Hey guys. Hi hey Sarah. What's up? Sarah knows all about detoxing um, our life. What's up, Laura? All the way from the UK. Um, Michelle, Lisa, Abigail. Yeah, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Say hello. Um, if you know anyone else out there that is struggling with um, clutter, <laughs> make sure you go ahead and share this. Um, and I'm also going to talk about. Um, you know, being on this journey as an entrepreneur, and I, it's funny because through my decluttering, so what I'm doing is I'm clearing out my office. I don't have the kids home. They stayed over at Grandma and Papa's last night, so I'm kind of just, oh, I just want to get, I've like had folders and files sitting on the floor in my office, you guys, forever. Can anyone relate? Like, do you guys just have junk laying around and you know like I had a garbage bag of stuff sitting in my office for probably the last four months okay uh, so if you can relate <laughs> give me a high five emoji or something because I am so sick of looking at it and um, I will tell you that once it feels good to get it out because once you get out the stuff that has been bogging you down, if you may. I, I don't even know if that makes sense. Like all of this, you know, just like stop. Like just stop. Like you guys see what I'm saying? Like just stop. Clouding up my workspace, crowding it up. And um, honestly, it's time to just let it go. It's just time to let it go. So if you have stuff that you've been holding on to, whether it's physical or emotional, I want you to type into the comments let it go because it's so important to do that and through the process of letting go today um, and I'm like letting go of a lot of stuff like I am well I will be working out my closet and detoxing that my mom's already like give me the bag full of your clothes <laughs> like sure um, but I need to detox my closet um, the boys closets um, we're doing the basement. My husband's outside actually doing the garage right now. You guys, it feels so good to get rid of the junk. And I I was able to take, which I'm not able to, I'm on my desktop now, but like and walk you guys around my office, you would see what I'm talking about. I have a vision board laying on the floor because that needs to be redone. I have files laying on my my floor over here. And so I'm working on it, and I wanted to do this live because it was crazy. I came across a journal that I wrote in that I stopped writing in um, because that's what we do, right? Like, because I have 500 notebooks, 
And so I started and I just like literally will pick a notebook and just jot my notes down and then grab another notebook the next day, jot my notes down <laughs> again. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but um, it's time to get more organized. And again, um, as entrepreneurs and owning our home-based business, like we have to get more organized and we have to let go of the things that are not serving us. And so I found this journal excerpt from November 10th. Um, oh my gosh, 2016. So you guys, this is like when I just was starting out on my um, journey of like, I don't know where I'm at in my life. And I knew I needed a change. So let me back up here a second. If you're new to who I am, uh, real quick, I didn't even get to introduce myself. I kind of just jumped in. But my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder at createsuccesswithjulie.com. I've been in network marketing for six years. Um, I When I started network marketing, uh, it was such a new concept to me. I was a former franchise owner. And I, Literally, I didn't have the preconceived notions. I just jumped in and I fell in love with the possibility of what the profession could bring and the vision. And so I knew I could build my business from home. Well, inside of network marketing, they say um, you build your business as a home based business, but that's not necessarily true because what ended up happening is I was not, I was going to meetings, I was going to events, I was going to uh, doing home parties, and so forth. And um, I lived that life for about three years. And as successful as it was, I hit burnout, you know, I was making multiple six figures in that in uh, that business. However, I reached burn out, meaning um, I was on the phone all the time, I was doing parties a lot. And then the other aspect of that is I wanted to build my own brand where I really just wanted to show up and I decided to start a training company. So in November of 2016, I really, I knew that I hit burnout. I knew that I, I really love the profession of network marketing. I knew I wanted to build out my own brand and learn online marketing and learn attraction marketing and how to bring people to me, right? Instead of having to go out and do all these home parties. So long story short, I started diving in and uh, this is the point where I got, I want you guys to get this. I was unclear on the journey I was about to take, but yet I had to follow my intuition and my gut to ultimately have it lead me there. Does that make sense? Like, I kept putting one foot in front of the other, even though I had no freaking clue what the heck I was doing or what I was going to build out. I didn't know I was going to build out a coaching business. I didn't know I was going to become an affiliate marketer. I didn't know I was going to end up ultimately switching network marketing companies. Um, I didn't know that I was going to build five digital products. I just completed my fifth. I didn't know any of this stuff. Um, and I feel that the road to success is not an easy one. And that's why I show up every day, um, inside my business and I learn so I can teach others how to, I can help others learn from my mistakes. I can help your learning curve so you could get there faster. I've learned a lot about online marketing. I've learned, you know, I've learned about sales. Um, I've learned about persuasion, copywriting, all of that stuff that goes along with online marketing. A little bit outside of what network marketing is. However, I hate to break it to you, but if you're in network marketing, you really need to understand how to market yourself, not your product and not your opportunity and not your company, how to market yourself, right? And how to build that personal brand. Um, and so if you're unclear about that, then that's why you're here. That's why you follow me, right? That's why I'm starting my monthly mastery with uh, my group, which by the way, I have a, a pretty big list already started, a uh, waiting list. So if you want to be on the list, just type list inside of the comment section and we'll make sure that you fill out the form so we can notify you um, when that is um, 
when that's up and running. It should be uh, May. I'm working on it right now. So anyways, um, I came across through decluttering my office here. Oh, sorry. I go in and out that I get blurry. Um, and I came across this. And I'm going to read this to you. And then I'm going to get into the top three questions um, that are great, great questions to consider asking yourself to evaluate your thoughts. Because here's another thing. Part of what holds us back as entrepreneurs is our own mindset. It's our own mindset. And I have done a ton of inner work in silencing the inner, inner critic that's within, I feel, all of us. And I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but if you agree with me, drop me a heart right now. Give me some love. Let me know. Um, hey, what's up, Chris? Hi, Ryan. How are you, bud? What's happening? Uh, Ryan McMorris and his soon-to-be wife, Wesley. I absolutely love that, that those two. Um, Yolanda. Yolanda cannot wait for the monthly mastery, the success, cir the inner success circle. I can't wait either. I'm super excited, you guys. I have so much that I'm putting into this. And it's not just so much like value. Like I don't want to keep, I don't want to throw content. Yes, there's going to be trainings. It's all about implementation. I have people every day say, how can I work with you? Can you look at my fan page? Um, can you look at my uh, profile? Can you do this? Can you do that? You guys, I love helping people. However, I can't, I can't serve everybody in the time frame that they're hoping I can. So with the monthly, um, with my monthly mastery, like I will be putting all of my, my time and effort into that because my network marketing business, my new company is going very, very, very fast. It's building very fast. And so I need to make sure that I am there as well as being able to serve and impact others. So a way for me to do it is not doing one-to-one -one coaching all the time. It's to be able to help more people at once. And, um, and so I'm so excited. Plus, I'll be pulling in um, some of the top influencers out there, some of the top experts who are now friends of mine to do some training. So we're going to make it uh, really fun. Plus, if you know me, I love giveaways. All right. So uh, what's up, Cheryl? How are you? All right. So here's an excerpt I want to read you guys from my journal. Okay. And it's, I think, can kind of sum up maybe where others have felt in their um you know, on their road to building out their business. So I said, I woke up feeling unhappy, unfulfilled, and stressed, even though my day hasn't started. Okay. Have you guys ever <laughs> woke up feeling unhappy, unfulfilled, and stressed, even though your day hasn't started, like just upon waking up? If you have, drop me a one in the comment section. I mean, you guys get really real here. Be real. Because I feel, again, this is why I share this stuff is because Someone could look at me and say, oh, she's created seven figures in this space. She's successful. There is a price tag to success. Okay. So I started questioning what was wrong with me. Like, I'm crazy to have these feelings. Um, I set up a call with James. Now, James at the time was a mentor I had. He was a high performance mentor. Um, and that's why mentorship is so important because here's why. I set up a call with James and it couldn't have been at a more perfect time to help rearrange, rearrange my thoughts and feelings. And this is what he said. Number one, remain present and focus on one task, one task at hand. I preach this all the time and I have been at fault for it. We want to focus on five things at once. Oh my gosh, I need to watch this webinar. Oh my goodness, I got to make sure I get this email out. Oh, I got to do my blog. Oh wait, no, I need to do a Facebook Live. Oh, but I wanted to get on that Facebook Live to learn that strategy. Like, do you guys relate? Can you relate to that? Because I feel that when you context switch, it's context switching, you get nothing done. All it does is continue to clutter up here, okay? So, Remain present and focus on one task at hand. Number two, journal my task. So if I get off course, I can revisit it, right? Thanks for the hearts, guys. Thank you. So when you get off course, you want to revisit. So if you have your one task and you 
in front of you daily um, and focus on that one thing first. So maybe for you, you guys, it's just doing a Facebook Live. It's it's not easy just to hop on and do a Facebook Live. Like you all, you that's why I talked about content batching last Saturday on my live. If you did not watch the content batching, how you take one day in the beginning of the month and you batch out. If let's say you do three lives a week, that's 12 for the month. You literally list out all 12 of your lives and, and do like an Excel spreadsheet or a document or what have you. And you literally list it out so you don't feel unorganized. You know exactly what you're talking about on one day. So maybe it's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Those are your three lives, whatever. Whether it's two, three, four, whatever. Content batch. All right, so when you focus on the one task, so just like I said, a Facebook Live, maybe that's your one task. Because you have to plan it out, and then you have to do the live, and then you want to make sure that you follow up and you answer people. So it's not just like a simple little live, like it takes time, right? All right, so um, number three, ask myself, how present am I? I don't think, do you guys ask yourselves this question, like how present am I? Like throughout your day, how present are you? Um, set an alarm every one hour. You have to take breaks, go for a walk, get up. If you own a home-based business, like I'm surrounded by these four walls half the time. I have to get up because I lose creativity or I, I like, there's so much energy I put into my clients. So if I have like a client call or I'm doing a VIP intensive, which is two hours, which is literally me, literally me jumping into funnels and my brain's working for the copywriting and helping them create all this stuff. You better believe, like, after the two hours, I'm crashed. I am crashing. And I'm doing another one on Monday. And then I got to go. I'm going in directly and doing an interview afterwards. Normally, I would not set up my day like that. However, um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a favor. So, um, but yes, you have to get up and take breaks. So set an alarm every hour to do that. Number four, why do I limit possibilities? So ask yourself, are you limiting your own possibilities? I am the person, I am the only person who can take my power away, right? I am not going to be put into a situation that I cannot overcome. I will not limit my, myself. Let go, let life happen. Consciously direct my belief that I can do this. Consciously, consciously, that's a key word there. And then smash it and be amazing. So I had this call with him. I won't forget this because I was about to go to an event and speak in front of 800 people. And I was so nervous and I was having self-doubt and I was having limited beliefs because I was saying to myself, who the hell am I? Like, who am I to go speak? And I, and let me remind you, this was probably like my 20th time getting on stage and speaking at an event. And I still had hesitation. I still still was in my own mind. And so because I was in my own mind, I woke up feeling unhappy, unfulfilled, and stressed out, knowing that I was going to have to go and do this. And so because I have mentors in my life, and he helped me to rearrange the thoughts and feelings, he had me, he had me do this every single day. So remain present, focus on one task. Two, journal my tasks. So if I get off course, revisit. Three, ask myself how present am I? Set the alarms every hour to remind yourself to get up, walk away, or to remind you to ask yourself how present are you? Are you surfing Facebook? Are you surfing social media? Are you really doing what you're supposed to be doing? Or are you getting off course? Number four, why do I limit my possibilities? Asking myself that day, am I limiting myself? Um, and then getting into the I am's, right? I'm the only person who could take my power away. I'm not going to be put in a situation I can't overcome. That's an important one. You know, consciously direct my belief uh, that I can do this. And then I, I will not limit myself, okay? Do you guys find that? Do you guys find that helpful? Do you guys find, um, do you find that information helpful? Because I know for me, when I read this, I was like, holy crap, like, I need to make sure I keep this in front of my face now every single day because guess what? It got lost. It got lost in the clutter. It got lost in the sea of crap in my office. Right? Now, here's three questions. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys with this. 
these are three great questions that you can ask yourself. Um, thank you, Chris. I'm happy. I'm happy that this is speaking to you. Okay. Um, yes, Yolanda. Why do I limit my possibilities? Right. We. I feel we all limit our possibilities at at one point or the other. All right. Three questions to con to um to consider asking yourself to evaluate your thoughts. Okay. Number one. Uh, what am I thinking about in this scenario now? Okay, so if you find yourself that you're hitting that wall or you find that you're like, why can't I focus on that one thing? Or why do I keep context switching myself? Or why do I have such a fear about doing a Facebook Live? Or why can't I reach that ne next rank? What is holding me back? Ask yourself, what am I thinking about in this scenario now? Are you feeding yourself with the negative, in that negative space, with those negative words, okay? Number two, is this thought helping me progress? So powerful, because I literally feel that you can have a pattern interrupt if you know how to ask yourself the right questions. It's just like, you guys, it's just like recruiting. The best recruiters in the world, the reason why I've been successful and I've, it, sponsored over 500 people inside of network marketing is because I know the right questions to ask during the recruiting process. And I know how to become a better, a, a good listener, a better, I'm a better listener than I am a speaker. Like I just want to listen to them. I ask the right question and then I listen. I ask the right question and I listen. It's the same thing. So is this thought helping me progress? If you're sitting there and you're saying, um, you know, I'm not worth success or I'm not worth that that income, um, I hate to tell you that that thought right there, that thought is holding you back. You have a money story, right? So guess what? If you start asking yourself, why am I having this thought? Well, why why would I think I'm not worth that 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 income, right? Like I've never made that much income. But it's possible. The reason I know it's possible is because I see everybody else doing it. And there's nothing that's different between me and, and her or him. So why is it holding me back? Well, you have a money story. See, you're being conscious of it and you're evaluating it. So guess what? You need to go to work. You need to go to work and go either dial into some podcasts, some audios, read a book, what have you. You need to start going work to work on the inner work. Right? We all want to build a successful business, but most of the time what we're not understanding is it's the inner work that we need to do that reflects the outer. Right? So understanding that is super important. And then number three, is this thought in service to my desires and goals? Is the thought that you're having right now about where you're at or whatever the scenario is, and after you answered the question, is it helping you progress? Is the thought in service to your desires and goals? And if it's not, and if the answer is no, then you need to redirect and you need to figure out how to shift your thoughts um, and eliminate the mind chatter because it's, you guys, it's so important in our in our business. You have to do the inner work. Um, you have to do the mindset work. And so those are the three questions that um, you can ask yourself and then go figure out, like I said, evaluate, consciously evaluate where you're at and then figure out, it's not more content, it, this is what I'll leave you with. It's not necessarily more content you need to have in your life or that you need to continue to learn. Most of the time, it's implementation. It's implementing. It's putting yourself out there. It is facing the fear and doing it anyways. It is putting it into action, imperfect, it, it, taking imperfect action towards your goals and then figuring it out. You guys, with this monthly mastery I'm putting together, my, my inner success circle, I have no flipping clue, right? I've never done a monthly program before. So guess what? Do I let the nitty gritty details hold me back or do I just get it going? Do I just get it started? Because now I have a waiting list, right? So I'm using me as an example because the old Julie would have 
sit on it and sit on it and sit on it and wait it. You guys, my first course I ever developed, um, it was called silent recruiting method, which is now rapid enrollment system. So rapid enrollment system is an in-depth blueprint of literally how I built out a multiple six figure business all online. But it's not just about social media. No, it's about objections. It's about sales and marketing. It's about closing. It's about the stuff, like especially the sales and marketing stuff and social media marketing that we do not learn inside of network marketing. And so I wanted to put this, this uh, program together, this course to help network marketers understand and learn. And not just that, like how to become strong leaders, how to grow a team that is that you retain, you want to retain your team members, right? So I put this product together and I just relaunched rapid enrollment system a couple of months ago. Do you know I sat on that product for eight months until I launched it? Eight months. Why? Because I was so nervous. Nobody was going to show up to my webinar. I was so nervous that nobody was going to buy it, that people weren't going to like it. Like I was just so nervous because we put our heart and soul into things and we create it because that's what we are. We're creators. And then you launch it. And then if it flops, like you get down on yourself, you have a negative space. Well, guess what? I had 552 people on my very first webinar. Okay. Live. Um, webinar, it crashed. Like, I mean, the system that I was on, the platform crashed. Like, it was awful. Um, second time I did it. Um, the recording didn't take. Like, awful. Oh, my gosh. So, listen, it was not perfect. However, I've made six figures with that product. <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? Does this make sense, you guys? Um, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. Does that make sense? Yes. So, put... Put not perfect in the comments if this makes sense because you're saying I don't have to be perfect to just get myself out there and to push myself out there for others because it's not about you. And it took a mentor, another mentor to tell me um, you're making it about yourself and you're not making it about those that you're looking to serve. And she was right. And so anyways, I'm going to leave you with that because um. I feel like it, oftentimes where we are out there and we are prospecting, recruiting, or we want to develop out our coaching business, or um, we have funnels running, or whatever, and we we feel like we throw our hands up in the air and we quit because we're like, oh, it's not working. It's not working. And then we get down on ourselves. And then we just end up in this freaking downward spiral, which is just crap. And so I'm here to tell you, I have been through all of it. I've probably ran over a hundred funnels. I have, I have a seven lead magnets. Um, I have built successful seven figures inside of the network marketing space. I mean, I've pretty much done all of it when it comes to online marketing. And I'm here to tell you that if I was to have thrown in the towel, I would never have experienced what I have. I would never be at the point and the place where I'm at in my business right now. I would never have met the most amazing entrepreneurs on this planet, <laughs> um, you know, by not putting myself out there. Even when I had my fear around um, starting my fan page and um, doing Facebook Lives, you guys. Uh, I wouldn't be at the place where I'm at right now if I allowed, if I quit. And understand that the number one habit, get this, the number one habit for human beings is quitting because it's easy. It's easy. And maybe when we were younger, we felt like we wanted to quit a sport and our parents allowed us to. And so, or we wanted to quit theater or what have you. Um, you know, for me, quitting is not an option. There's always an answer. There's always a way to figure it out. And so, Again, my monthly mastery will be more about marketing, online marketing. Um, yes, for network marketers, I was asked this question the other day uh, because definitely I'm a network marketer as well. But I really want to help people form the skill sets of online marketing and understanding um, as well as doing mindset and inner work as well. So 
anyways, you guys, thanks for hanging with me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that this would have gone on as long as it did on a Saturday, but I feel like this message was super important and I hope you guys found value. I know if you have, just let me know. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts in the comments. Let me know. But again, if you liked it and you know someone that needs this message, uh, make sure that you share it with them. So, all right, I will see you all on the next training sometime next week. I'm trying to get a, a bit more like a consistent flow with it instead of just hopping on um, because I'm the one that preaches it all the time. Let people know you're going live and try and do it consistent time every week. And here I am. But anyways, I got to go because I have to go uh, detoxify the rest of my office. And I have to go pick up my kids at some point. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging with me on this Saturday afternoon. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, if you have any questions about anything, just drop them in the comments or, of course, private message me. You guys know how to get a hold of me, okay? All right, be blessed. Talk to you all real soon. Bye.